hello everyone and welcome back to my channel all right so this video reading is what is your future spouse up to now so the person that you will marry what is life like for them now when will you meet this person have you already met them and what does this person look like so what is this person's appearance if you have not already met this person all right but before i get into which deck is which I'd like to thank all of you who are subs to this channel thus far. Thank you so very much. If you're brand new, hit that sub button as well as the bell notification because I do drop videos weekly. Uh, Y'all, I'm blanking. Make sure you grab a copy of my Oracle deck. It's about time. It is available on my SCN on my website, wanderingsparrowtarot.com. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads at Wandering Sparrow Tarot uh, and follow my other YouTube channel, Wandering Sparrow Do. And also, last but not least, thank you all for booking private readings with me. Thank you all for keeping me booked and busy. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, standard read, walking read, or priority reading, I want you all to check that pin down below as well as the description box below. And let's get into it. So three options to choose from. Remember, take what resonates with these options, leave behind what doesn't. This is option number one. Option number two, option number three. Again, option one, option two, option three. Pause the video, see which of these options you feel resonate with you the absolute most. And then I want you all to come back when you're ready for your reading. All right, let's grab some oracles as well. Let's see. What is your future spouse, spouse up to now? What is life like for them currently? Universe, prayer guides, and ancestors think about channel messages for those who chose option number one. What is life like for their future spouse now? We have chemistry. We have forgiving and learning. We have unrequited love. Currently, your spouse. And I'm going to say your spouse because this is the person that you're going to marry in the future. Option number one, currently your spouse is dating. I do feel like your spouse may have gotten out of a relationship. And this feels like relationship, not just someone that they dated and it didn't go anywhere. But it feels like maybe currently your spouse is out of a relationship that taught them many lessons with this forgiving and learning. Uh, this is somebody that they had to release. And maybe somebody that your spouse actually was looking to marry. So for some of you, your spouse is going to has either been engaged previous to you uh, and for a small percentage you may be even married but very much so in a committed relationship that did not work out it just did not see itself to term so currently your spouse is in the energy of dating that's what i'm getting with that one so let's get some more information universe for guys and ancestors with channel messages what is life like for option number one's spouse currently Option number one's future spouse. What is life like for option number one's future spouse? What is option number one's future spouse life like now? We have the star card in the reverse. We have the seven of swords in the upright. Star card in the reverse. I feel like your current spouse may be someone who's trying, who's seeking a lot of validation. Star card in the reverse. It feels like the energy of what someone wants to be, what they hope to be. It's low key energy, but. It's almost like covert, low-key energy, like, you know, like a humble brag. I feel like your spouse in particular, or your your future spouse, rather, at current, maybe living a lifestyle that they're trying to impress others with. This person could be someone who is very much so into cars, because I'm getting the energy of showing off your car, trying to impress people with their things. Maybe this is their home as well, or money, or trips, and things like that. Seven of Swords in the upright. Your current spouse or i'm sorry your future spouse may not be living in their full truth so a bit of people pleasing is coming out a bit of mask wearing um and hiding their true self that's what i'm getting with that one temperance card in the reverse your future spouse is someone i feel like right now there's a lot of growth that needs to happen with this spouse with this spouse that you're going to be person you're going to be married in the future there's a lot of growth that needs to happen because this temperance card in the reverse is impatience. 
that's an energy of, you know, just not, I feel like they're searching for something with that temperance in reverse. Like they're not patient for what's to come, for the process, for where, why they are, where they are in life. They're not accepting it. We have the eight of cups in the reverse and we have the five of cups in the upright. So your spouse, your future spouse, that is option number one, isn't in the best emotional place right now. Now, when it comes to finances and career, eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the upright, I feel like your spouse is very hardworking. I feel like your future spouse is someone who definitely puts priority on work and finances. So that's not going to be an issue in you all's relationship. However, when it comes to emotional things, they don't handle it well. This person wants to just be accepted by people. I feel like your future spouse still has a lot of self-work that they need to do within themselves to accept themselves uh, right now. And it's a lot of energy here with coming out of these cups. On the one hand, I feel like, you know, this eight of cups in the reverse is representative of your spouse, you know, trying to appear to be over something or numb. I feel like for a lot of you, your future spouse may be someone who, you know, is trying to appear as if they don't care about things, but really they have all the feels. Your future spouse may be a cancer. However, though, three of cups in the upright, I feel like your future spouse currently is in a pessimistic moment within their life where they're paying attention to all the things that aren't going right for them. And it feels like they're trying to output that with distractions as opposed to looking within self and getting self together your future spouse may be somebody who's even in the gym working out but not because of health reasons because they feel like okay if i get my body in this way this will make people love me so i feel like there's this air of desperation coming off of this person so they're in a growth moment still option number one that's what i'm getting with that one so let's see universe spirit guides and ancestors thank you for the channel messages you know what let's go into have you already met them or when will you meet your future spouse and then we'll get on to appearance universe spirit guides and answers think about channel messages when will option number one meet their future spouse when will option number one meet their future spouse we have one day libra three of spades and even this three of hearts in or sorry three of swords energy this is heartbreak yeah your future spouse is still going through it over somebody else we have divine timing be patient. And then we have in the morning after sunrise. So definitely how you're going to come across this person. For a lot of you, it may be through a digital means, maybe virtual dating um, or electronic dating. However, though, here's the thing about this. This spouse that's coming towards you, if they come towards you in the now, this is not an energy that's going to be an easy energy for you in regards to connecting with this person. So in regards to who this person is, you're not, I don't feel like you've currently met them. Option number one, I do feel like you're very near to meeting this person because this person is dating. However, I don't feel like this person, because in the morning after sunrise, like I feel like you're very near to meeting this person. We have in the morning after sunrise, we have one day as in one day time frame and then divine time and be patient i feel like this person is going to be presented to you in the now but this is someone that it's going to take some time for you all to make it you know to marriage to engagement maybe even to full-on commitment this person has a lot of stuff that you're working on so i feel like spirit is presenting this person to you kind of maybe because you've manifested you know universe please show me who i'm gonna marry or because there's karmic lessons here for the both of you all to learn and grow for a lot of you this is someone whose energy you're mirroring there's a lot of self-love you need to build up with self and i feel like this person is coming into your life to show you that and for you to spark that in their life however though if you're meeting this person anytime this week option number one I don't feel like this is going to be, you're not meeting them in a time frame where they're ready for this lifestyle, but spirit is open to showing you what the future holds. So let's get physical appearance. Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors, think of channel messages. What is this person's face, physical appearance for option number one? Option number one's future spouse. What is their physical appearance? 
We have the Ten of Cups and a Bray. This person is a family person. Definitely feel like they have children or at least one child. Uh, very youthful. Uh, that's what I'm getting with that one. I feel like this person is of average height. So male or female of average height has children, is likely to be a fire sign or have strong fire placements. Maybe even a water sign has strong water placements. We have the death card that's Scorpio. So someone who has dark features, someone who is of average height, someone who is either a water sign or a fire sign, or possibly have a water or fire moon, something strong fire, fire or water placements. That's what I'm getting with that one. If they aren't that in their sun sign. Definitely, I feel like this person either behaves as a water sign, Scorpio, or Cancer Pisces, or behaves as a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, if they aren't one of those things. But yeah, moon card at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy, very strong water sign energy here. This is somebody who's very creative, option number one, very in tune with emotions, but maybe is in a bit of dysregulation of those emotions right now. So option number one, that's what I have for you. So you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Book a private reading, coaching, saying every walk your eight or priority reading. Check that pin comment below as well as the description box below. And let's get into our second option, option number two. Option number two, your future spouse. What are they up to now? What is life like for them now? Let's see. Option number two, I'm actually going to pull that after I pull the tarot because I want to see. Universe, Spirit, God, the ancestors, thank you for the channel messages. What is life like for option number two's future spouse in the now? What is life like for option number two's future? Yeah, the Justice card in the upright. We have the Emperor card in the reverse. As a chariot in the upright. Option number two, your future spouse, uh, maybe someone who works within the legal system. That's what I'm getting with that one. Uh, this may be somebody who's currently, um, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting with the emperor card in reverse, currently on a break or vacation. This is somebody who is very straight laced in, um, or usually very straight laced. That's what I'm getting with that one. But I feel like your current spouse may be in an era where they're allowing themselves to kind of break outside of their normal, you know, boundaries. Chariot in the upright. This person is very family oriented, currently spends a lot of time around family, very hardworking with the eight of coins in the upright and queen of swords. So I feel like your future spouse lives a very organized life. Queen of swords in the upright, very organized and direct life. I feel like this is somebody who they have fun, but often priorities take precedence which they should but this person works more than they play i feel like their main focus is on family their main focus is on balancing out their life and they do that through work that's what i'm getting with that one now i do feel like with this empress i'm sorry emperor in reverse there is an energy here where, you know, this person isn't as high strung or tight laced as they may appear. There's something very fun about this person's energy. But at current, their primary focus is on family and work. That's what your, your future spouse is up to at this point in time. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Love is not in the forefront for this person. That's not their focus. Now, they're not closed off to it, but it's not their focus. Let's see. Universe, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. Option number two's future spouse. What are they up to now? What is life like for option number two's? Pay attention to the red flags. What is life like now for option number two's future spouse? Religious factors. Yeah, restrictions. What is life like now for option number two's? Love yourself first. Let your friends help you out. Yeah, option number two, romantic feelings. They're open to romance, but your future spouse isn't dating anyone. Pay attention to the red flags. I feel like they may be kind of cautious when it comes to their love life. And they may be spending more time with family and friends. Definitely, maybe more so interested 
in cultivating just friendships at this point in time. Your future spouse with the religious factors could be on a spiritual journey, um, could be could be religious things holding them back. But for me, this is a card of restrictions and traditions. I feel like your future spouse, their main focus right now is work, 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 work. That's what I'm getting with them. I'm here, Rihanna. Work, 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 work. Um, the religious factors, but this is self-imposed restrictions. So it's not things that they can't get out of. Your future spouse currently has goals that they're trying to achieve. And this is where the, the extra work is coming in. I do feel like your future spouse is someone who's very healthy. Love yourself first. This is somebody who I definitely feel like is very content with themselves, their life. They appreciate themselves. They love themselves. So there's not anything that this person is searching for or has to heal. I mean, of course, healing is always, a, a, it's, a, it's a journey. It's not a destination. But this is somebody who addresses things when things come up for them. Uh, I do feel like, yeah, this person is very content with, with what they have right now. But the focus is primarily on life matters. Your current spouse is searching for goal. I feel like there's a goal that they need to obtain with self first before they invite romance into their life. And this is somebody who's very responsible when it comes to that. They're not going to, you know, have you come into their life, um, option number two, and know that they have no plans on cultivating the connection. That's what I'm getting with that one. So th your future spouse is somebody who's very responsible. And right now their life consists primarily of work life and, and home life matters. Now they are a very social person. I do have that option number two. So they make time once again for friends and family, but their primary focus is is on the things that that matter, that they feel matter most within their life. And that's, that's their private life, that's their personal life rather, and their work life. This person is working towards goals. I do kind of feel like there's a five year wait when it comes to this person. Option number two, Simply because, yeah, this person's just not looking for that type of commitment as of yet. Not to say that they won't get into a relationship anytime before that, but they're not looking for marriage in the now. But let's see, Universe, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, English Channel Messages. When will option number two meet their future spouse? When will they come across this person? When will option number two? We have sometime this week. So you may have already come across this person. We have the golden hour. This is very immediate energy. We have to ask for a sign and proceed accordingly. Immediate response. Option number two, you've already come across your future spouse. Sometime this week, more so feels like somebody you're going to see this week that you already know. You've already come across this person. Uh, we got King of Wands. Uh, we got two of wands energy here and we have the six of swords. You've already come across this energy. We have Aquarius, we have Aries, and we have the month of August that came out. Yeah, this person can be a fire sign or air sign, but you've already come across this person. This is somebody you've already met, but this person is just focused on self right now. So you may currently have a crush on this person too, option number uh, two. That's what I'm getting as well. So let's see. Give me more universe for God's ancestors. What is the appearance of this person? For option number two to know. What is the appearance of this person? For option number two to know. Ace of Swords in the upright. Air sign energy. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Knight of Stabs. That's fire sign energy. This person can be a fire sign. A lot of fire and air coming out. Um, this person can be a fire sign. That's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, this person is very intelligent. Maybe someone who works in education or tech or mental health even. But definitely this, this is someone who deals with the mind a lot, option number one. Someone who's very charismatic and fun, that's what I'm getting with that one. Someone who's very social, always on the go with that night of staffs. This could be someone who's very spiritual as well with the hangman or have a spiritual walk. Or maybe this person meditates um, a lot. Uh, Ace of staffs in the reverse. Once again, more fire sign energy. This person, I feel like this person has like reddish brown features like maybe it's their hair maybe it's you know their cheeks when they blush that's what i'm getting with that one this person if they are a male they are kind of tall like they're over average height but not like extremely tall maybe eh. if they are a female this person feels a bit shorter Maybe short to maybe average height. Eh, not not really. That's what I'm getting with that one. Uh, this person has a solid build. That's what I'm getting with that one. 
four of cups in the reverse this person is very intentional with their time and queen of cups in reverse this person is very focused on self-love i feel like if you go to this person's social media it's it's a lot of therapeutic messages there just because this person really 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 believes in taking care and nurturing self but this person is very focused right now option number two like this person is focused on their goals getting their life together in the way that they see best fit and then they're going to be ready for marriage so i see i feel like in about five more years or closer to that you and this person will be walking down the aisle option number two so thank you option number two let me know how you all felt about that in the comment section below like comment share subscribe book a private reading coaching sanity read, walking read for wording reading check that time comment below as well as the description box below and let's get into our last option option number three option number three what is your current spouse life like now or future spouse what is your future spouse life like now what are they up to now universe spirit guides and ancestors for the channel messages what is option number three's future spouse life like now we have attraction what is option number three's spouse we have keep an open mind we have worth the waiting for we have it is safe for love option number three your future spouse is definitely looking for their person this has got to be the most ready of all of the options of all of the uh the decks option number three this person is definitely ready to look for their forever bay uh yeah i feel like this person is dating with that attraction keep an open mind this person is opening themselves fully up to love so whether this person has had a type in the past like oh i only date people with with brown hair you know this person or i only date people that are this height this person is opening themselves up and they're they're willing to go through the process we're worth the waiting for for their romantic partner so your current or future spouse is out on the prowl currently universe spirit guides and answers thank you for the channel messages what is life like for option number three's future spouse what are they up to currently what is life like we have the ten of cups in the reverse we have the two of swords in the upright ten of cups in the reverse they're definitely at a place in life option number three where they are looking for family ten of cups in the reverse now this person doesn't necessarily have a, a, a family meaning children uh eh, for some of you yes but this is someone who is fully out of any past relationships i don't feel anything lingering on but this person is also used to being in relationships so there is a, maybe a maybe this person is out of a relationship with a partner who had children or something like that uh they could have children however but this person's fully their energy is feeling very clean it doesn't feel like they're still clinging to any one of their past it feels like they're ready to fully jump into a relationship you know and truly cultivate that this person's ready for marriage in the now tower card in the reverse sagittarius energy this is someone who's definitely on the path to finding their person their committed relationship this year that's what i'm getting with that i feel like this person leads an exciting life but once again intentionally exciting this person is someone who very much so is a, is very passionate but tower card in reverse they know how to control their emotions and passion option number uh three the lover's card in the upright gemini energy yeah this person's very very flexible very free but once again is looking look two of swords a card about decisions lover card lover's card a card about decisions this person is looking for love in the now they are looking for romance right now so i feel like this person this person does feel balanced they feel balanced i feel like this person has an active social life active family life they're not wanting though this person is still working on themselves and working on goals it's not like they're not at a place where they don't feel content where they don't feel like they're not able to provide this person is at a place where they feel like they have a lot to bring towards the table and they're ready to share that with other people universe spirit guides and ancestors what is life for option number three's future spouse now the hermit card in the reverse the five of wands in the upright 
So Hermit Carter Rebirth, Five of Wands in the upright. I do feel like, yeah, there are things within this person's life that they are still working through with the Hermit card and the Five of Wands. I don't feel like this person's life have, has chaos and conflict, just, and you know, and they're unhealed. But I definitely feel like this person, once again, they're a work in progress. This person still has things that they're working towards within self, but there's a lot of excitement in this person's life. Once again, more fire sign energy. I feel like this person primarily may be a fire sign, but Nine of Pentacles, once again, living a very comfortable life, very single life. There's no one lingering in this person's energy option number three five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the upright there's no one lingering in this person's energy so this person's ready for romance in the now so let's see when will you meet your future spouse because they are ready when will you reach your future spouse universe for guys answers when will option number three meet their future spouse give me two cards one will option number three we have in five days so option number three, I'm going to need you to go out the house. We have nine months and we have immediate response. So option number three, this is all about alignment. We have tonight unexpected. So for some of you, this is in the now. So between now and nine months, that's what I'm going to do with that one. This person is ready for love. They're ready for romance. They're ready to give it out and receive it. They're ready to cater to someone, compromise. They're ready in the now. So option number three, you only have to get into the frequency of if you are ready for someone who's looking to cultivate romance with the intention of marriage down the line. That's what I have for you with that one. So let's get a few more and let's find out what is this person what is this person's appearance? Universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors, thank you for the chat messages. Look, even with the three of wands, before I even go out, we got nine of pentacles again. Very single, nine of cups. This person is very content. Uh, this is someone who's also very, you know, confident within self. This is, yeah, this is this is a good one, option number three. Um, and the three of wands is in the distant, it's in the near future. Universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors, thank you for the channel messages. Give me the appearance of option number three's future spouse. Give me the appearance. We have the six of cups in the reverse. This person may be a little bit shorter. Um, shorter if it's feminine energy, three of wands. Shorter to average height. Like, I don't feel like this person is extremely tall. But if they're a male, they're under six feet. If they are female, they are under five seven that's what i'm getting with that now five six i know it's kind of tall then eh, more average for woman height um however though if they're feminine they are under five seven so like five i would say anywhere between well anything under five seven no because some of them are five six i want to say maybe under five six no uh if they're male they're under six feet that's what i'm getting with that so they can be taller but th but they're under six feet that's what I'm getting with that one. Seven of Wands in the upright. Yeah, this person has a bit of fiery energy. I feel like this person may be a bit awkward, but definitely like attractive awkward, but a bit awkward. Um, option number three, maybe just getting themselves back into the dating field universe for you guys' ancestors. The Magician in the reverse. Yeah, this person definitely gives off a little bit of awkward vibes the magician card in the reverse is giving me that's the energy of the virgo and the gemini it's giving me energies of i do kind of feel like this person may be a bit what's the word that i'm looking for not i already said awkward but this person stumbles a bit in their day in life that's what i'm getting with that one option number three when it comes to this person this might be someone that you connect with after the second or third go round because the first go round may be a bit kind of choppy for you that's what i'm getting with that one this person has shorter hair if they are a male longer hair if they are feminine that's what i'm getting with that one what does this person look like what does option number three's future spouse look like option number three's future spouse look like we got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Uh, this person's going to be of average body. That's what I'm getting with that one. 
this person is going to be with of average body seven of swords i feel like they're going to be somebody who's very honest and open when it comes to the things that you know usually that what the, the type of stuff we try to hide um there's something there's something comical about this person's energy too um but yeah but this is giving average body build so i don't get like you know spectacular abs spectacular muscles um i'm not getting anybody who's like you know just body is just outrageously oh my goodness it's an instagram model but at the same time it's still very attractive this person is very attractive um, but I, that's what I have for you. Option. No. And wait, wait. For some of you, solid build. For some of you, a rounder build, too. I do want to put that one in there because I am hearing that. That's what I got for you. But thank you so much. Option number three. You all let me know how you all felt about this in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, book a private reading. Culture Center. Walk and read or priority reading. Check that in the comment below as well as the description box below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You all again. I appreciate you. And yeah. I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Peace and blessings, y'all. Bye.